Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smithy D, and today we've got footage of a Sabine at Gear 10 7 Star. And this is courtesy of Mad Malgus. He's gone out and he's purchased this to finish his team, and he really wants to show us what Sabine can do. Sabine's basic attack is called Blasters Akimbo, where it deals physical damage to the target enemy twice. This attack scores an additional hit for each of the following if the target has less than 70% turn meter, has less than 30% turn meter, or the target is debuffed, hits after the first deal 75% less damage. Sabine's first special ability is called Dark Saber Strike. This has a two turn cooldown. This deals physical damage to the target enemy and inflicts the Armor Shred unique effect for the rest of the battle. Armor Shred isn't a debuff and it cannot be resisted or cleansed. In addition, the effects stack and that's going to be a minus 50% defense per stack. Sabine's second special ability is called Demolish and this has a 5 turn cooldown and this deals physical damage to all enemies, expose and stagger the target enemy for 2 turns. This attack cannot be countered or evaded. This special ability can only be upgraded to level 7, so that means in the future we're probably going to see a Zeta on this special ability. Sabine has a unique called Take It Back and she will share it to her fellow Phoenix members as long as Hera is the leader of this squad. And what it does that she will provide herself and the Phoenix members plus 25% critical chance and plus 25% critical damage. Sabine makes this team so much better. It's not the level of Sif, but it is so much better than what it was when Chopper was in her place. That team was horrible. I did not like watching it. It was boring. And you know what? It's actually quite really fun just to watch Sabine in action and put on these debuffs. These akimbo, they're just crazy just seeing all these numbers, even though they're not high numbers. It's a really, really good thing to watch. At the moment, I'm having a really difficult time deciding who do I like more, Sabine or Zeb. I'm not really fond of the other characters in the Phoenix Squad. Ezra's, yeah, he's alright, he's great for a Jedi team, but I favour the kit of Zeb or Sabine. They're just pretty much awesome. I've liked them since day one, especially on Zeb. And Sabine, yeah, oh, she's great, you know, just watching her in action, the animations, that Darksaber is one cool thing to watch and it's a beautiful thing to see and I'm happy they are in the game. I just probably wouldn't farm the entire squad unless their ship is worth it. I've seen them in the Heroic AAT and they're very like meh, you know, they don't really do much. I've got some of that coming on my channel in the next couple of days. So make sure that you do check out that video. You're probably gonna see what they're missing, what maybe you could change with that, you know, because at the end of the day, they're gonna be farmable part of the cadence at some point. So you're gonna be able to pick them up, or you're able to pick the shards up if you don't go with these kind of like mega packs at the moment. So we're gonna move on to the next battle because currently this battle's probably gonna go on forever and they're just gonna hit each other left and right and they're just gonna heal. So we're gonna move on to the next battle and see how they do against a Rex team. So we're into the second battle right now and it's a Rex leadership followed by Nihilus, followed by Palpatine, followed by Ren and General Kenobi and Sabine straight away she's gone in and reduced that defense on General Kenobi and the entire team has been stunned and this is really where they probably need a decent cleanser for stuff like this but it's pretty amazing what we're seeing so far is pretty cool i am enjoying it i am enjoying watching this compared to the other times i didn't really enjoy watching the team you know rex at the moment they've got their tenacity up it would be great if they could start the spelling but we're gonna see how it goes we've all got all that counter attacks at the moment and there's no dark mall at the moment and the main threat at the moment i want to see what will happen now so general kenobi does have his defense down so we're going to see how much of a reduction he's going to be taking. And look at that, he's just been cleared out by Ezra. General Kenobi has left the building. So at the moment, is it going to be going for the Emperor Palpatine? Let's see how this goes. Emperor Palpatine is on his last legs. And we just lost Hera. No way. Nihilus again just coming in and just annihilating. He's like the biggest threat to any team within this game. All he does is annihilate and just one shot characters, reduce the cooldowns. And Emperor Palpatine again has gone in 
for that stun. This isn't looking very good at the moment. It's free against free. How will this turn out? From past experience, I would say the Phoenix Squad are in the bad position at the moment, but what they do have as an advantage is the AI for Kylo Ren. He doesn't really use his outrage ability and favors Lash Out, which isn't really gonna be doing much to to them in all honesty they can heal for quite a bit but healing immunity will definitely do something and they've had their cooldowns reduced so it's not looking too well for them so they really need to be taking out Nihilus and Nihilus right there has just taken out Ezra so there is two left we have Kylo Ren who is currently stunned and it is looking favorable at the moment for the Phoenix team if they can keep and they've, they've took out Kylo Ren and now all is left is Nihilus. Nihilus on his own probably isn't going to be much of a difficulty because he cannot really get that reduced cooldowns to get Annihilate quick enough and he is gone and we're going to move now over to the mole team. The mole team isn't the most biggest mole team. We've only got two Sif in here so we're just going to demonstrate without Nihilus what this team can actually do. Without Nihilus being in the enemy team and the lack of Sif so you've pretty much got a B2, a Boba Fett a base, an Emperor Palpatine is in there, and he is, yeah, he's a, he's a Sith, but I just don't know, I think the Phoenix Squad has this hands down, they cannot be annihilated, and the AI, in all fairness, will just target around, and that's why I'll bring to the conclusion with the Phoenix Squad, that AI could be quite terrible, and that could be a thing, you know, it is something that now Sabine's out, it could be tested more on a higher level, to how the squad performs, but defensively they could fall same category as the resistance that they're good on the offense, but quite bad on the defense. They have a lot of mechanics where they call in for assists, and you really want them to be calling in the right characters. But other than that, they have some great healing abilities. You know, the heal between them is pretty much going to be quite unkillable. You're going to need to have healing immunity and this team has no healing immunity at the moment so this team this phoenix team should really take them out and look b2 b2's going he, he's not staying here for much longer he'll be gone bulba's going to be gone and that's pretty much going to be the end of it they're they're, they're, they're they're all dropping they're dropping like flies they're just dropping but anyway thank you very much for watching today if you've enjoyed the video as much as I have, then make sure that you do hit that like button. I'm the Smithy D, may the force be with you, always.